Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we are customising this. It is the Canis Astro GZ which was released in the new Chop Shop DLC in GTA Online. <laughs> Uh, so let's have a quick look at it on the uh, Southern San Andreas website. Here it is. It costs $459,000. Um, it's uh, pretty similar to the Ballista Kanjo. It says here, you can see, um, it's basically a modern version of the Astro, which we already have in the game. Uh, so let's take it up to the custom shop and see what we can do to this thing. Right, so we've got armor and brakes and all of that. So let's go ahead and slap full armor. We'll put full brakes on. Let's have a quick look at the bumper options here. Uh, I'm actually going to go and change the secondary color to red. Uh, we're not going to keep it as red, but that's just so you guys can see um, what the secondary Body color options are. So it driver. looks like standard, the secondary color. Uh, does change the door mirrors already so front bumper options we got the classic sort of street front bumper there um like the stock bumper we got the classic front bumper we got the street front bumper and the race one what's actually the difference with the race one do you need a drink uh, bubbles or something these ones look exactly the same Okay, uh, these ones are exactly the same. Maybe it changes something in the engine bay. I'm not sure, but it doesn't change anything externally. Rear bumpers, we've got the stock rear bumper there. We've got the extended version, which has another little cutout for another exhaust, which is probably an Making upgrade option we'll see in a minute. Uh, we've got the rounded, and we've got the flared, which again has another little like cutout. Um, oh, I actually forgot to choose the front bumper option. Um, I do like this. I'm going to go for the street You've one because it's going to be stuff. the same. Um, let's have a look here. Which one of these do I like? Not a fan of this. That looks horrible. The stock one is actually quite nice, to be honest. I do like the stock. Um, that one looks like it has a big kick in it. Rounded. That looks really weird. I'm just going to leave it. Oh, the stock has a big, like, kick in the no back of it as well. Oh, they all do. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Why has it got a big crumple in it? Okay, um, I kind of like the stock looks like the most sporty. It has these little, like, flares down there. Um, this, honestly, looks more stock than the actual stock one. So we're going to leave that on there. Engine options, we'll go ahead and put that full engine on there. Uh, we'll have a little look at the performance and stuff a Life bit is hard when, you can when have we've anything. customized it. Uh, let's have a look what we're doing here now. Exhaust, so we have this tiny little pea shooter to start off with. Um, we can go for single chrome long pipe. We got dual chrome long pipes. Single titanium, dual titanium. Then we got a big bore titanium and a dual version of that we've got the single chrome big ball I quite like that Whatever you desire. that looks pretty cool Technology and, budget and we got a dual version of that obviously if you have the bumper with the two cutouts that will look better um, we've got the single tipped short pipe and a dual version of that we've got the single carbon plated and we've got a dual version of that um, I quite like quite like this one I, quite, I want to keep it with one exhaust. I think it looks a bit weird with two. Yeah, I think one just looks better. Uh, grill options next. Uh, so we've got the stock grill with the carried logo on there. We can go for a grill detail delete. Does that actually make it mesh? Oh, yeah. So it was kind of mesh to start with. It has those two lines going across and mesh behind it. It gets rid of all of that. Uh, we can then go for a painted grill surround. So it's like, sort of, there isn't a surround standard, and it does it body color. Can do it. We can go for the Karen grill, 
and we got the executive grill, which are both in primary as well. Um, I think I'm going to go for... I don't really know what kind of build I want to go for on this thing. I guess we're going for kind of a street build, so I'm going to go with this grill detail delete. Um, because that's sort of the most sporty looking. I do, I do quite... I'm not a big fan of removing badges on cars, to be honest. I quite like Big leaving badges. Um, right, hood options. Next, we got the stock hood, which is just primary. You can go for the street hood, which adds like a little bulge in it. I um, don't know if you can see that well. Uh, we've got the carbon street hood, which is just obviously a carbon version of that. We've got the tuner hood, which had some like little sort of scoop things on there. I don't know what you call them. Um, vents. That's what I was again? thinking of. We got a carbon version of that, and then we got the race hood with lots of vents in there. Um, that looks a little bit weird. Not a huge fan of that. Um, ooh, I think we're just gonna go for this one, the street hood. I'm going for a kind of modified but still kind of stock looking build with this one. Um, and then we got horn options. Might not bother with that. Light options. It does bubbles? have kind of xenons, like standard. You can go and make it even more blue if you want to. Um, I'm just going to leave them stock. Right, liveries we've got next. So we've got um, the Fukaru uh, fa Fractured Stripes, which obviously I think is supposed to be inspired by sort of like um, Subaru. Obviously Karen is like Toyota uh, Subaru, for those of you who don't know. Um, so I think that's sort of similar to that. We've got the Hard Stand Stripes. That's quite nice kind of plain it's kind of like fast and furious livery i'm getting those vibes from it we got lightning bolts not a fan of that we got retro lightning bolts even more crazy i think it does look a bit odd with the green to be honest no rush at all uh we got the crew is armed that's a very unusual livery um we got the zero racing one i quite like that that's actually quite cool um, if you're going for like a race car build, that's that's quite cool. How it like fades out, I like that. Uh, we got tagged. Again, I think this is like more if you're building a kind of tuner car. It's quite good. We got tagged alternate. Life is uh, we got the Sprunk anything. racing one. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, it looks really good with the lime green as well. And um, we got the Sprunk alternate. Um, I'm not really a fan of any of them. Well, I, I like some of them, but not for the build that I want to do. So we're going to leave it without a livery. But there are some nice liveries there. Some of them are a bit weird. Um, the mirrors. So the mirrors are Whatever standard. The uh, secondary colour, which you can see is red there. We can go for race mirrors, which then... Different mirrors and they're primary coloured. We've got carbon version of that. We got tuna mirrors and carbon tuna mirrors. Um, hmm. I'm keeping it kind of stock, so I'm gonna leave them stock, and we'll just probably match that to the body color, or we'll maybe paint them black if or something. You can think it, uh, I can do it. What liveries have we got here? Oh, we've actually got new number plates. That's cool. Okay, so we got Sprunk number plates. And we've got E. Cola ones, which are red. Okay. I'm just going to leave it stock. I, I like the stock plates, to be honest. I haven't got any, like, customized ones on here. So I'm just going to leave that how it is. We'll come back to respray at the end. Because I don't really know what colour I want to paint this thing yet. Um, cage inside. So we can get a standard cage, which is actually the secondary colour, which is quite interesting. We've got a padded version of that with carbon seats. So the stock one doesn't actually change the seats. This one does. We've got that with race seats. Think long and We've got hard. it with track seats. And then it's just different coloured seat belts, basically. Um, I'm not going to go for a cage. Not a huge fan of them, to be honest. I can't get over how it has like a dint in the boot. It looks so weird. Um, right. <clears throat> roof next. So stock roof is primary coloured. You can go for a carbon one. You can go for a roof spoiler. And that looks a little bit weird. We've got a carbon version of that. We can go for a roof scoop. And we've got a carbon version of that. 
and we got a different roof scoop and a different carbon version of that. Uh, I'm just going to leave it stock, I think. Or do I want to go for a roof scoop? No, not a fan of them. Uh, skirt options next. Um, so we've got stock skirts, we've got the street skirts. Just adds like a little lip at the bottom. That's quite nice, actually. We've got a carbon Bubbles skirt. Okay, so the whole thing is like carbon. Uh, we got a tuna skirt, a carbon version of that, and then we got the flared one, and then a carbon version of that. Um, I quite like this first one. It annoys me that the rear bumper is like not the same height as like the skirts and the bumper. If you see what I mean, um, that's obviously going to make it worse if I do that, but. I, I quite like that skirt option so you, there was a bumper option that made it longer but I didn't like that so yeah um, spoiler options next so we can have no spoiler we can go for a nice little ducktail that actually looks quite good just a stock sort of ducktail that actually looks like it's meant to be there uh, we got a carbon version of that which actually doesn't look too bad either I quite like that then got the uh, large ducktail Kind of like a NASCAR wing, if you're building a race car, I guess that'll look quite cool. And there's a carbon version of that. We got a drift wing. It's hardly a drift Making wing, is it? Is but that, that actually doesn't look too bad either. It kind of looks like it's meant to be there. Carbon version of that. And then we've got the low wing. Sort of like the generic bolt on wing. Kind of looks like Forza Aero. We've got a carbon version of that. We've got a raised wing. Carbon version of that. Got the street wing, it's just getting bigger and bigger to be honest. And um, we got a carbon version of that. We got the big wing. It's kind of like the one that you can get on the armored Karuma. Yeah, not a huge no fan version. of that. We got a carbon version of that. And then we got the chassis mounted one and a carbon version of that. Never been a fan of these like chassis mounted, like rear mount spoilers, look a bit weird. Um I'm just gonna go for the simple like primary colour ducktail. I think it looks quite Don't good actually. It, it adds something to the car. It definitely makes it look more modified but at the same rate it, it looks kind of stock which is the sort of build I'm going for. Transmission we'll go ahead and upgrade that. And we'll the turbo on. Um, okay so there's no suspension options for this thing. That's interesting. Hmm. We are getting a drift version of this um, very soon, so there'll possibly be more customization when that comes out, and there'll be some like drift suspension and stuff. But we can't get it on the normal car. Life is hard when um, you don't have anything. Let's have a little look. Let's go to the street section. Kind of like some of these wheels. Um, hmm, I think some like black wheels, something like this. It looks so weird, so like high up. It definitely needs to be lowered. But yeah, we'll go for those and we'll up. paint them. We'll go for like a. I don't want to go too black. We'll go with that. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with bulletproof tires. And then we'll tint the looks windows a little as bit. Good as you. Uh, and then finally, respray. Let's choose something. Actually, it looks quite good in black, to be honest. Um, frosty gold. Okay, so looking at all the colours, I think blue is sort of like the one to go for. It is like a Toyota Subaru, so they look quite good in blue. Uh, so let's take this thing down outside and drive it around a bit and see, see what kind of performance this thing has. Alright, here we are outside. Um, let's actually see... Okay, it is rear wheel drive. That's interesting. Uh, let's see what kind of performance this thing has. It's not crazy. I'm not going to lie. It's quite slow, to be honest. Um, I, think, I think the whole purpose of this thing is it's supposed to be quite a stock car. And then when we get the drift upgrades for it, you can actually make it quite crazy. Um, but yeah, that is the Karen Astro GZ customization. 
and a little bit of a drive round. It's like even with the upgrades, it's not very quick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, not a huge fan of the look of this thing. It looks a bit weird with the back sort of like dinted in like that. And I think it needs to be. If it was lowered, it would actually look quite good. But yeah, not a huge fan of this one. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this car. Are you gonna be buying it? It is quite cheap compared to some of the cars we've been getting recently but yeah i'm not a huge fan of this one myself hopefully the customization was useful for some of you though thanks all so much for watching this video hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one